Now let us begin integration. Integration is also a vast topic. If you want to complete this integration, do not use miscellaneous. That's keep your mind. Now let, let me begin integration. First, one thing keep your mind. Whenever you see integration question, now step number one, degree of numerator, degree of numerator should be less than degree of denominator. Degree of denominator. Okay, fine. Otherwise, you have to divide. Otherwise, otherwise means you know about it. Greater than or equal to a divide numerator, divide numerator by denominator, then the result can be written as quotient plus a remainder of one denominator. Clear to you? If degree of denominator less than degree of numerator, uh, sorry, degree of numerator less than degree of denominator, you can proceed the quotient. Otherwise, you have to divide, then the answer can be written as quotient plus a remainder of one denominator. That's minded. Okay. Now here number two, especially substitution method. Substitution method means what is the suitable substitution so that you can get immediately differentiation of that another part. That's you have to check it. So that is the second exercise, complete uh, substitution method. You should know what is the uh, suitable substitution area so that you can get a differentiation of that uh, function. That means what is the target of this substitution method? We are bringing that integral function into simplest form. That's why we are giving substitution. For it, just to give one example, suppose integral sine inverse of um, uh, sine of tan inverse uh, x power 8, the polar form uh, 1 plus um, suppose x power uh, tan plus x into dx. Let me uh, see here. Uh, that is here is another one given that is integral 8 x power 7 like this they have given uh, 1 power x upon 8 uh, whole square otherwise x power 60 like this they have given okay fine definitely you comes to know what is the suitable substitution here in most people we don't have any integration so I am giving substitution tan equals x power 8 equal to t if you want to do this sine of tan inverse we don't have any integration that's why I am giving suitable substitution so tan inverse x a differentiation you know 1 upon 1 plus x square I am making so x power 8 whole square so that is into dx into differentiation of x power 8 see tan inverse x 1 upon 1 plus x square into differentiation of 8 power, x power 8 8 into x power 7 into dx is equal to dt otherwise x power 7 into dx upon 1 plus x power 16 that is equal to dt upon 8 are you clear now i equal to integral this entirely becomes what dt by 8 i am taking out 1 upon 8 into dt that is sin t into what i am getting dt sin t integration you know about it sin t integration that is equal to minus cos t the whole upon 8 plus you have to add to further to add this is c so that is equal to minus cos if instead of t we can write tan inverse x power 8, the whole for 8 plus c. So this is called substitution method. So what is the meaning of it? When I am giving substitution here, I brought the function into simplest form. That's why we are always approaching substitution method. This is completely NCRT second exercise in how to do practice. That is easy for you. Now third topic is complete trigo identity exercise. In this exercise, uh, let me say one thing. Suppose um, uh, this you have to read the formula cos a cos b cos a cos b 2 cos a cos b 2 cos a cos b that is equal to you know formula cos a plus b uh, plus cos a minus b like this and then similarly uh, 2 sin a sin b 2 sin a sin b that is equal to formula is cos a minus b and then uh, minus cos a plus b this is also uh, formula we can use that is a 2 sin a cos b sin a cos b that is equal to sin a plus b or sin a plus b or plus sin a minus b. This is one of the most important uh, one and now just to give you one question example for example integrate uh, the question is comes cos 2x uh, just to let me brief I am not going to do uh, everything that will take a lot of time already I have done all these questions. So like this type of questions they will ask you for example like take one or two terms okay. 
So here, without this formula, you cannot uh, break this function into simplest form, clear to you. So you have to do one thing, multiply and divide by 2 first, 2, 2 cos 2x, and then we need to cos 3x uh, into dx. Now that is equal to 1 upon 2 into integral, we have used here formula cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. If you know the formula, then we can solve it. Cos a plus b means 5x, or cos a minus b in cos 2x minus that is cos 2x minus 3x cos of minus x but cos of minus x becomes cos x into dx. Now you know how to do integration that is equal to 1 upon 2 into the cos becomes sine 5x. Whatever x you are taking differentiate and write in denominator then this becomes sine x and then plus c. So like this formula they can ask in second exercise, third exercise this one and another concept is suppose if it is odd degree for example integral sine 2. Uh, 2x plus 1 into cos 2x plus 1 into dx. If it is an odd degree, then what you have to do? It is very simple method I am saying. This is split odd degree into odd into even means sine square. Suppose sine power 5 means sine power 4 into sine. Like this, sine 2x uh, into cos 2x as it is equal to you. Into sine 2x plus 1, whatever remaining term I am writing here. Into what we do get here, dx. Now, whatever you use it here, even degree, here use it identity, trigonometric identity, 1 minus cos square 2x plus 1. It is so simple method that is equal to cos 2x plus 1 into sine 2x plus 1. Now, suppose a into dx. Now, give substitution cos 2x plus 1. Whatever identity you are using, cos 2x plus 1 into t, then if you differentiate, that is, we will get it, that is minus, minus sine 2x plus 1 into 2 we will get into 2 into dx equal to, I am writing here d2 by 2. So if I substitute here, that is i equal to integral 1 minus t square into, I am getting this is a t into minus d2 by 2. Now you know how to integrate this one, that is equal to minus integral, this becomes a t minus a t2 into dt. So 1 upon 2 I am taking here. So now this becomes t square by 2 and this becomes t power 4 by 4. Then replace instead of t whatever you have given substitution that is replace it you will get answer. This is also one of the most important part. In case if they ask. Now here some questions are most important questions. Let me just give you a hint of this question. There are six questions like this that is integral. A dx upon, this is one of the most important question, integral dx upon uh, cos x plus, I am going to say into cos x plus, I am going to say b, or otherwise if they ask integral dx upon sin x plus, I am going to say x plus, I am going to say into cos x plus, I am going to say b, like this, or otherwise integral dx upon another question, that is uh, uh, sin x plus, I am going to say into uh, sin x plus, I am going to say b. Here just to let me give uh, some hint already, I have done all these questions even then, I am giving hint to you. You see the denominator, both are, the triple terms are both are same, sin cos, cos cos, sin sin. So for these two what you have to do, multiply and divide by, multiply and divide by cos a minus b, cos a minus, uh, no, sorry, sin a minus b, are you clear, sin a minus b. Just to give you one example, for example, if I take one question from here, just a half of I am telling here a minus b, multiply and divide by a minus b upon sin. Sin a minus b is the constant that is minus to cos x plus a, either plus or minus doesn't matter. So x plus a into x plus b, okay, into ds. Now what you have to do, just uh, give me one of two step here, a minus b into integral sin, add it we need x also, a minus b plus x minus x, the whole of all, cos b we will get x plus a, into cos b we will get x plus b, into what, dx, clear to you. Now you have to reassemble all these things, uh, if you are reassembling, what you will get here, uh, for numerator, that is sine, as per a denominator, you have to reassemble here. So that is equal to 1 upon sine a minus b 
uh, in integral, this becomes unity x plus e. So I am writing this one x plus e. And then taking minus common, you will get x plus e. The whole upon what I am getting cos x plus e into cos x plus b. Now you have to do your own. Now you have to use sin a minus b formula. Sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. Automatically one one term will be cancelled. Then let me complete that is sin a minus b. Now in integral if I am using formula sin a x plus a into cos x plus b and then minus sin x plus b into cos x plus a. The whole upon what I get, the whole upon uh, that is cos x plus a into cos x plus b into cos x plus b into what dx. Now you make to uh, separate 1 upon sin a minus b uh, into integral. If you do this upon this, uh, that becomes a tan x plus a. Uh, if you do this upon this, uh, what we will get it that is uh, minus tan x plus b. Now you know how to integrate this integration answer you know. Uh, what is the integration of this log sac x plus a and this becomes log sac x plus b. Final answer you are getting. Are you clear? This procedure is when we have to do this becomes log sac x plus a and this becomes log sac x plus b. Are you clear? This is your final answer. Plus c. Do not forget to add plus c. Suppose this is only the denominator to both terms are same, both are same, sin, sin, cos, cos. Then multiply and divide by sin a minus b. In case if both are different, then multiply and divide by, then multiply and divide by, divide by which one? Cos a minus b. Then the same procedure whatever I do. So this type of question may be favorable ask. So for third exercise, trigonometric identities using trigonometric identities, how we are doing integration, that is one of the most important part. Now integration, all types of uh, special types, that is number one, linear upon quadratic. Children, why we are using linear upon quadratic? That quadratic which cannot be factorized. Suppose if possible, you can factorize the quantity denominator, then go for partial, that one is very easiest one. See this linear upon quantity px plus q upon ax square plus bx plus c into dx. Otherwise integral px plus q, the whole upon under root of ax square plus bx plus c into dx. So there are two formal to linear upon quantity. Suppose if, if it is possible to factorize, then go for partial. Here you have to go for only one method, that is a linear upon quantity. Already I told you, I have given you an example. So definitely, maybe, uh, definitely our question will come. This what what we have to do. This is Px plus linear continuous a into differentiation of quantity. Ax either under root or without under root. Ax square plus Px plus c. Plus B. Then you know how to proceed. I am not uh, giving any example here. So find the value of A and B then proceed. So suppose if they given one more question or two more question. First you check it whether this differentiation is a uh, numerator. If it is a numerator then give substitution T square. No need of taking this uh, formula clear to you. So this way you have to do linear upon quantity. So this is one of the most important exercise. You have to do, you must do at least one or two questions of practice. But mind it at the same time, if suppose the question is comes 3x plus 1 upon under root of 2 minus 3x minus x square, whenever you do this part, minus is here, you cannot take this minus out of the under root. If you take that, it becomes iota. So whenever you do simplification, means you are making per completion of square, that minus keep it out of the this algebraic expression only not out of the square that's needed so that you have to do one question at least to practice here okay and the six more special formula that you should remember it that is also one of the most important formula then another topic is a partial partial definitely one question will come either here or differential equation so partial you should learn it so partial we have seen three four format uh, that is a px plus a q the whole upon x minus a into x minus b into x minus c 
that's it. we can partially a upon x minus a plus b upon x minus b plus c upon x minus c like this. Suppose b x plus a q the whole upon x minus c into x minus b the whole square. Then how to partiate a upon x minus a plus b upon x minus b then plus c upon x minus b the whole square like this you can partiate you know how to take lcm so whatever lcm that lcm must be here the same should be in denominator so if you take for example let me give you an example of this lcm here lcm is here don't do mistake at the time of taking lcm so here a into x minus b the whole square is in this here what is it less for here you compare here so here x minus b you need one more x minus b or x minus a so b into x minus b into x minus a <coughs> and c compare this denominator what is less here c into x minus a so you should know how to take the lcm of this part otherwise you will commit some mistake clear to you now another format what we have px plus q the whole upon x minus a into x square plus bx plus c then what you have to do this can be plus a upon x minus a now this if it is cannot be factorized then you have to use that is a bx plus c the whole upon x square plus bx plus c are you clear what i am saying if the quantity cannot be factorized then you have to introduce b a w linear numerator if it is a factor x minus b whole square if you are writing this format then definitely you will get answer wrong that's keep in your mind so partial only there are three format so thoroughly do it but before doing keep in your mind degree of numerator should be less than degree of denominator otherwise what we have to do that's already i told you clear to you now it's for partial then next by parts we have integration which one by parts by parts is most important because it will use in differential equation also. So by parts what formula is a integral u into b into dx. So this is first function otherwise uh, uh, for example let me give you an example uh, x into sin x okay into dx okay fine. So we use i rate how to choose first and second function i rate i rate t e i rate means inverse to root L means log, A means algebraic, T means true, E means exponential. Whatever the first function are comes priority here, Q priority that is first function. This is algebraic, this is a trigo. So which letter is first? Algebraic is first, this is first function and this is second function. Clear to you? Whatever the first function, whatever the first letter as per question. So that is first function, second one is the second one. Clear to you? Now what is the formula? Formula is saying first function x in the integral of second function sin x integration is minus cos x minus integral differentiation of first function that is 1 in the integral of second function is cos x into dx now that is equal to minus x cos x and then plus what we will get sin x plus c it is so simple this integration so what i told you that is first function in the integral of second function plus integral uh, first function in the integral of second function minus integral my, for, as per formula minus minus integral uh, differentiation of first function becomes 1 in the integral of second function we are getting minus cos x that's why I have written here plus so plus integral cos x into dx so we are getting answer this is by parts especially by parts I told you these question in how to do definitely one question will come that is ex into 1 plus r minus sin x 1 plus r minus sin x the whole upon uh, 1 plus r minus uh, cos x um, otherwise um, I integral dx into uh, 2 plus r minus sin 2x the whole upon 1 plus r minus cos 2x this question or otherwise already I told you these are all the questions so that is x minus 1 for whole square the whole upon x square plus 1 like this type of questions you have to do it that is the formula is integral dx into f of x plus f dash of x into dx that is equal to into dx that is equal to dx into f of x this format one question definitely will come you have to do this type of questions so this is these are all the most important questions so clear to you now next comes to integration i told you some special types what are they especially degree 4 now come down degree 4 integral 
in case if the quotient comes x plus r minus 1 the whole upon x whole whole plus x square plus 1 into dx so what i told you step number 1 uh, take out x square from numerator and denominator from numerator and uh, denominator uh, so that we get so that we get uh, numerator is uh, this type 1 plus r minus 1 by x square and denominator we get x square plus 1 by x square and then plus some constant constant may be 1 or 2 or 3 whatever okay fine then step number 2 you have to do one thing here plus then give substitution minus here minus then give substitution plus 1 by x is equal to t then differentiate automatically you will get numerator 1 uh, that is a plus minus 1 by x square into dx is equal to what will you get to dt whatever you have given substitution squaring on both sides you will get automatically denominator if i square on both sides that is x minus plus uh, 1 by x whole square that is equal to t square or otherwise i get x square plus 1 by x square plus r minus 2 into da so that is equal to uh, equal to 2 uh, that is t square now substitute x square plus 1 by x square that is equal to t square minus plus minus plus 2 now substitute instead of this x square plus 1 by x square here and then substitute this instead of numerator so you will get answer this is one of the most important format now number 2 another format already I told you dx upon 2 plus r minus cos x or otherwise integral that is a plus b a plus b or integral dx upon a plus r minus b sin x or otherwise integral dx upon a sin x plus plus r minus a sin x plus r minus b cos x then you have to do one thing we have only one method you have to replace cos x in terms of tan 1 by x tan square x by 2 the whole upon 1 plus tan square x by 2 otherwise sin x can be written as sin x is equal to 2 tan x by 2 the whole upon 1 plus tan square x by 2 clear to you then you have to do one thing substitute tan x by 2 equal to tan x by 2 equal to t then proceed already i have done this formula also this is one of the most important then next format here these are all extras without uh, this uh, NCRT I have given already in case another format integral dx upon a plus b sin square x a plus b sin square x integral dx upon a plus b cos square x or otherwise integral dx upon a square sin square x a a sin square x or plus b cos square x if they ask like this then do one thing multiply and divide by sec square multiply and divide by sec square x okay fine uh, then uh, substitute tan x then step number two let tan x is equal to t then proceed you know how to do clear so this is also one of the most important part in case integral integral dx upon a linear into ax plus b into under root of dx plus q suppose if they have given this format then you have to do one thing this is dx plus a q equal to t square then proceed okay fine so this is also one of the most important format in case if they say integral dx upon that is ax plus b into under root of px square px square plus a qx plus r if they given this format then linear equal to 1 by t give substitution linear equal to 1 by t then proceed this is also one of the most important format in case if they say uh, next one c <coughs> now number 6 in case uh, integral uh, sin x plus cos x this is one of the most important format suppose uh, 9 plus uh, 16 sin 2x like this if they ask this type of questions you have to do one thing here whatever the numerator is sin x plus cos x the denominator if you have sin 2x the coefficient of sin 2x what is it 16 so add and subtract it ok automatically you can bring differentiation of sin x plus cos x that is sin x minus cos x in denominator so that's what you have to do that is sin x plus cos x the whole upon we get here 25 and then minus 16 take out common that is equal to you get 1 minus sin 2x 
Now you can write this 1 minus sin 2x becomes what? That is sin x plus cos x. The whole upon 5 power square minus 4 into this becomes sin x minus uh, cos x term. Sin x minus cos x whole square. Now do substitution 4 into sin x minus cos x whole square e equal to t. You get numerator then procedure. This is also one of the most important part. Now, now see next one uh, limit of your sum. The same same questions whatever I have done here. That's I told you already one degree four question. Okay, just now I explained here. These are all the questions most important you have to do practice under root of cot x, otherwise integral into dx under root of tan x plus under root of cot x. These type of questions are most important questions. These are all degree four special format whatever I directly here like these are all the questions you have to do practice. Now let me see uh, definite integral. Definite integral. We have first one over one limit of your sum. I'm, I have done already this part so many times. Limit of your sum. So definitely limit of your sum. Whenever you are doing limit of your sum, whenever you are doing, you have to do like this type of questions: x square minus two x plus b four minus three x. Means exponential part you have to do practice. So I am not telling here much more about the limit of your sum. You know very well about this a formula already have done. Suppose if you have problem, then take out my video uh, integration, a definite integral. You have to watch it definitely you can clear it. That is the limit of your sum. Then especially here properties of definite integral. So here properties of integral. There are seven properties in total. Property, so what properties you can use in questions that is number one integral 0 to a f of x into dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x into dx. This is one of the most important property. Number two integral a to b f of x into dx that is equal to integral a to b f of a plus b minus x into dx. This is also one of the most important property. Now integral a to b f of x into dx that is equal to r of x integral 0 to 2a f of x into dx equal to this is also one of the most important property integral twice of integral 0 to a f of x into dx f of x into dx if f of 2a minus x is equal to f of x that is equal to 0 that is equal to 0 if f of 2a minus x is equal to minus f of x minus f of x are you clear now another last property so these are all the property frequently we will use integral dx equal to that is twice of integral 0 to a f of x into dx if f of minus x is equal to f of minus x is equal to f of x that means even function then we get a 0 if f of minus x is equal to minus f of x that means odd function clear these are all the properties we will frequently use Whenever you use property one time, keep in your mind. If you are using this property, if there is no change in the integral function, you can skip uh, to this property number, this one, whatever I have explained. What I am saying, when you are using this property, if there is no change in the integral function, then you can switch over into this property. So definitely you will get answer. So these are all the properly frequently we are using NCRT itself. So many questions are there. You have to do well practice. Anyhow, children, thoroughly definite and indefinite integral. I told you how to do one thing. Suppose if we feel this integration is difficult, only third exercise and then linear upon quantity and then partial. These three at least to do it, you will definitely get one question in your question paper. So be confident in this topic. It's a vast area. Do not get any confused. Suppose if you have any problem, so definitely put your questions. I can tell you answer. So thank you so much children. Now let me begin another topic that is area power.